transformations, rotation, reflection, and symmetry. This case is C2008, question, paper, uh, question 21, paper 1. The question reads, the diagram below shows the uh, triangle ABC with the uh, vertices A, B, and C they are given there. A is 3, 4, B is 1, 3, C is 2, 1. Part of the question, draw triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of ABC under rotation of positive 90 about the origin, that is 0, 0. B, draw triangle A prime, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, the image of A prime, B prime, C prime under a reflection in the line Y is equals to X. But C, draw triangle A triple prime, B triple prime, C triple prime, the image of A double prime, B double prime, C double prime under a rotation of negative 90 about uh, the origin. Then D, describe a single transformation that maps triangle ABC onto A triple prime, B triple prime, C triple prime. Then E, write down the equations of the line of symmetry of the quadrilateral B, B double prime, A triple prime, A prime. So those are the questions. And I want us to go directly to the diagram that was given. Uh, the diagram that um, you're required to complete was this. This is um, triangle ABC. For the purposes of accuracy, I've plotted the same triangle with the same vertices on a graph paper to enable me to work out accurately. So there is the triangle ABC. So the first question, uh, we are required to draw triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, the image of triangle ABC and a rotation of positive 90 about the origin that is 0, 0. So what are we supposed to do? <clears throat> the first thing, uh, since uh, the center of, um, and this is the center, just for, just in case, so this is the center, that is a point 0, 0, that is the intersection of the axis. So since the center is the origin, we shall rotate each of these points that are here. And to do so, we're going to start with point A and we join point A with a straight line to the center of the rotation. So that is what you're going to do. So I want to join point A, point A to the center of rotation. We join point A to the center of rotation. That is uh, point zero, zero. So join the point using a straight line. So that is the straight line joining from A to the center of rotation. The second step we're going to do is to measure 90 degrees. Positive 90 degrees means that we are going to measure this angle in anti-clockwise direction. That is what we're going to do. So this, this way you're supposed to position your protractor to measure that angle. So it must lie on that line look at this line that line this line must be straight this is the central part of the protractor that is central part you can see how i have placed this one along that line so positive 90 means we shall measure 90 degrees from this point a in anti-clockwise direction that is the anti-clockwise direction so from a moving in that direction up to where we have 90 degrees and 90 degrees is there so that is the place we're going to mark. That is the place you're going to mark. So let me mark 90 degrees. So 90 degrees will be somewhere there. So I've already marked that. So 90 degrees will be here. So after marking it, now you join that point. I'll take your ruler. Take the ruler and join. Highlight this. That is the point where you mark 90 degrees. And you're joining it to the center of... Uh, the rotation so let me draw a straight line joining that point so we have that is the line so that distance from a o a to the center of rotation you take that distance that distance should be the same from the center of rotation to the image of a and uh, that is where you mark it that is where you mark it so this distance a o the distance a o need to mark that this distance a o the distance from a to o must be the same from o that is the center of rotation to the image that is uh, the image of a so after rotating a uh, with that angle of positive 90 degrees about zero zero that is where it comes so we must indicate this point so we indicate this point is um this point is a prime that point is a prime so we have obtained a prime a prime is there now let's go to b we're going to repeat the same process the same process 
join b to the center of rotation so join b to the center of rotation this is what i'm doing so after joining the next step you take the protractor this is how you're supposed to rotate that point we are rotating point b with the center of rotation being the origin that is a zero zero so this is supposed to place it should be straight like that always ensure when you're placing your protractor the central part of the protractor is the origin that is the center of rotation then this is the line b to the center of rotation that is the origin so placing it like that now we measure the angle in anti-clockwise direction that is positive 90 degrees from b so this is the direction 90 degrees will be somewhere there so from b anti-clockwise it will be somewhere here so mark let me mark 90 degrees 90 degrees will be let me mark it properly it should be somewhere there now after marking that you take a ruler you take a ruler and um, join from the center of uh, rotation to b now to b prime yes you join b should be somewhere there you can use a different the same pen that is a point so you join b to so that is uh, the point b now we have joined b to the center of rotation that is zero. then we've measured 90 degrees up to this point that is where 90 degrees is and this angle now is 90 degrees so the next thing this distance b to the center of rotation should be taken i will take that distance we take that distance very fast so you take that distance you take the distance that is uh, b o that distance must be the same you mark you mark that distance so that distance as you can see b from the center of origin to b that is the object should be the same from the center of rotation the center of rotation to the image so uh, that is um, where it should be there's a line that i lost here ah, it is there the line is back so now we have obtained b so this is uh, b prime b prime is there so that distance uh, again very important to highlight that distance from b to the center of rotation and from the center of rotation to b prime that distance must be same now the last point you see with the same process c join c to the center of rotation so you join that that is a c we're joining c <coughs> c to the center of rotation we've done that then upon doing that we measure 90 degrees 90 degrees this is how we place the protractor it should lie on that line the protractor should lie on line co straight line so this line it must lie on that line that is co then 90 this is the center part of the central part of the protractor so from here uh, c we measure 90 degrees in anti-clockwise direction this way so you notice 90 will be somewhere here so that is where 90 will be so from this point that is a c moving this way an anti-clockwise direction that is positive 90 we're going to mark 90 somewhere there so let me mark 90 so 90 will be somewhere there i've marked it um uh, here it is so now we draw a straight line joining now from the center of rotation from the center of rotation from the center of rotation to that point so i want to join at this point from this point that is where i measure 90 then from this uh, center you draw a straight line from there so you draw a straight line so that angle should be 90 then from there uh, you take the distance you take the distance uh, c o take the distance c o you take the distance c o so distance c o and then you transfer that distance and mark the distance that is the point 
So look at this distance. This distance must be the same from C O that is the center, then from O to C prime. So C prime will be there. So that is how it will be. After doing that, um, now we can mark uh, the point C prime. The point C prime will be there. Now we can join comfortably to get. We can join to get the triangle. We can join to get now the image to plot these. So B, join that. Then the next is um, A to C prime. So that is uh, A prime C prime. Then we join the last one, which is B prime C prime. And that is um, that is now the triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. The image of triangle ABC under a rotation of positive 90 degrees about 0, 0 as the center of rotation. So that is how we're supposed to work out the first part of the question. Mm -hmm.